Hello, this is Antonio Valderas from the University of Cadiz, and I'm going to present our contribution analysis of learning records to detect student cheating on online exams, case study during COVID-19 pandemic. Due to the measures taken because of the coronavirus pandemic, classes were left empty and teachers were teaching remotely. And in this new situation, when lecturers have to evaluate their students' knowledge, will they be able to detect the students' cheating? Lecturers are used to face-to-face -to -face exams, where they believe they have control over cheating students. But here, lecturers lose that control and students may be talking the exam among several through messenger, video call, or even be together in front of the computer. Would this concern of the supervisors have an impact on the complexity of the exams? In our university, the first online exams were in May, and with them came the first student protest through social networks. Avoid cheating is more important than teaching, very little time to answer each question, connectivity problems when all the students are accessing the virtual campus at the same time, and in summary, worse conditions than in a face-to-face -face exam. Talking these students' assertions into consideration, was this concern on the side of the supervisors justified? In order to answer this question, the research implements two requests from students in an exam. Asynchronous availability, a longer time to take the exam. We implemented the two aforementioned characteristics in a case study. In particular, in a database subject, a second year compulsory course in the degree in computer science and engineering. 103 students took the exam. To detect any cheating behavior, this research analyzes learning records. To do that, this is the process followed. First, the records are obtained from Moodle Virtual Learning Environment. Secondly, these records are formatted via a spreadsheet. Then, they are processed by the Disco Tool and Patchet program. And finally, from the outputs, different reports and graphics assist us in addressing the issue. We began the analysis by indicating that the students' marks had improved from previous courses. The high marks, A's and B's, are up to 51% this year, while in the previous years they were 15, 2 and 9% respectively. Using the Disco tool, we were able to analyze what other activities on the virtual campus students were accessing while taking the exam. This timeline shows how they move from one activity or resource to another, while the loop represents the answer to each of the exam problems. This figure shows that the participation of the students in the exam was evenly distributed during the time it was activated, from 11 to 14. Using PyCheat, we detected groups of students who took the exam in a sequence. Two students were part of a sequence if the second student started the exam just as the first one finished, the second had a similar or higher grade, and the second took less time to finish the exam. In PyCheat, we can define the minimum number of students per group that we want to detect, and for six students, for example, we got a network like this. Here we analyze one of the groups obtained. As you can see, the first student took 25 minutes and got a 7.5. The second student took 21 minutes and got an 8.75. The third student took 20 minutes and got something less, a 7.5. The fourth student got something less than the previous one, but did it in only 17 minutes. The fifth took 14 minutes and got a 10. The sixth took 12 minutes and got a 9.75, and the last one only took 10 minutes and got a 10. Each student started between 1 and 5 minutes from the time the student before him or her finished, with similar grades, but improving the grade per minute ratio. In other words, the later they took the exam, the better grade per minute they got. In conclusion, in this research, we set up an asynchronous online exam with a realistic time per question. Then, by learning analytics tools, supervisors detected evidence of students' cheating behavior. Of course, not all students are cheaters, and our recommendation is to design courses that permit us to collect evidence for evidence-based assessment. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention.